Hello Mark, good to see you again. Today is all about aerodynamics. Now so much is done in terms of research and development. Can you just talk us through some of the basic principles? Yeah, so it's a big key area of Formula One and uh, I guess when we talk about aerodynamics in Formula One terms, we're talking about the way the air is channeled and flows over the car and how the teams use that air. So a word that's bantered about an awful lot is downforce. Just talk me through that quickly. Well, downforce is uh, the, the force that's generated by the wings on the car. So if we compare it perhaps to an aeroplane, an aeroplane uses wings to generate lift to get it up into the sky. On a Formula One car, we have a front wing and a rear wing, and we're using that almost upside down, if you like, as the airflow passes over it to push the car down into the floor. What that does is get, generates grip for us as we go through the corners, therefore faster lap time. OK, well, a good place to start would be the front wing. Should we take a look? Yeah, so it's the first part of the car that obviously cuts through the air as it goes through the track. And if we have a little look at it, you know, they're quite complex areas. In 2014, the wings are a lot narrower than they used to be. Now, that means there's less surface area, and therefore, for the teams, it's a lot harder to generate the same levels of downforce. What the FIA do with their regulations is they give the teams a certain set of dimensions, a sort of uh, like an imaginary box, if you like, um, that each wing has to fit into and within that imaginary box the teams have a little bit of scope to design these things exactly how they want them to fit in with the rest of their car. Each team has a different wing at a different track, they configure them differently for every racetrack and if we look at this, this is the adjuster, the wing adjuster that teams can even use to adjust the angle of this flap during a Grand Prix depending on what they need. Wow, so even during a race they're constantly improving it. Yeah. So through the wing uh, the airflow comes and then boom! It's one of these big ugly things. Yeah, this is a, an aerodynamicist's worst nightmare on a Formula One car, not only because it's not the right shape, but as the driver turns the steering wheel, these things turn, so they're not a fixed, they're not a fixed position. So they use the front wing to direct the airflow around the outside, around the inside. That becomes more difficult this year because they're narrower, but that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to follow the airflow down. It follows the contours of the car here. And this is the side pod. The airflow channels in here to cool the car, cool the engine as it, as it passes over it. Following all the way along here, using these contours to direct the airflow through to the rear of the car. And what about this here? When we watch races on TV, yep. this is where we watch them from. This is okay. the camera. So when we see an onboard shot, the cameras are in here. And if you look at that, even that is aerodynamically profiled. So essentially the air has beautifully been guided over the vehicle and then comes to the rear of the vehicle. Talk us through some of the changes that have happened this end. Yeah, so again at this end, the rear wing, like the front wing, is smaller this year, so there's less surface area. And not only that, this is the lower element of the rear wing. In 2014, that's now gone, so that's another big chunk of, of downforce that's just been taken away from the aerodynamicists. That must be so frustrating for them, so they must get so far in development and then essentially get pulled back. Well, they do, and it's, it's a big challenge for them. The FAA do it because they're trying to keep a lid on speeds and safety grounds, but yeah, it's a big challenge for the aerodynamics, for the team, but you know, let's face it, that's what they do, it's what they do best. Oh, you've got to love a challenge. Thank you so much, Mark, for your insight into the world of aerodynamics. My pleasure.